This is a video I have been dreading to make. So the reason I made the Storytime series was almost a reaction, I suppose you could say, to a traumatic situation that happened in my life. Which, again, I don't... I, I mentioned this before in one of my videos, and I just want to kind of bring it up again. I don't want to talk about why I was depressed, because that's just very personal and um, not to discount anybody out there watching this. And, and for those who are, I really do appreciate it. But this is just a situation that I don't feel needs to be broadcast to the web. So please bear with me with that. I haven't been watching all of the footage that I have taken back. I haven't, I haven't gone through all of the footage that I recorded on this trip. I've just been taking the footage day by day, editing all that together, editing together the stuff that I think is worthwhile sharing, and then I come and I do this bit to the camera um, and sort of fill in the blanks and set the mood and really help tell the story. And this day, August 23rd, was when I just really hit a low point. So there's a thing that happens when you're in a major bout of depression and things that would be really obvious to just any onlooker aren't really aware to the person going through it. And there are things you may have noticed watching some of the footage leading up to this point. Um, one of the things is lack of self-care, like physical self-care. I hadn't been eating very much, if at all. I hadn't been sleeping very much, if at all. I hadn't been showering and, you know, worrying about my, my presentation to the world. It just wasn't something that I could even fathom in that time. And so I looked terrible. And I suppose to be fair, I was doing terribly. So I ended up turning to my art for strength. So, to get into the actual story, and thank you for sitting through and listening to this. It was the morning of August 23rd. I woke up at Emigrant Camp several, several hours before sunrise, and just decided I was going to wander off into the scrub brush and try to make some nice sunrise photos from there. I didn't film at all. I didn't have the strength to film at all. I didn't have the strength to formulate my thoughts. I didn't have the strength to even hold a camera in front of me and film myself because that was, that was a part of myself that I didn't want a record of. And so instead, I just looked to create art from my surroundings. So after that shoot and just looking at the images in the back of the camera, I felt a little bit better, um, a little bit stronger anyway. And I decided to head back west and make my way out of Death Valley. Um, but just as the peaks come, so do the valleys. And I got to the point where I just needed to stop driving and luckily for me I spotted some Joshua trees off the side of the road and then there was a place to pull over and I thought great time to go out and take some more photos instead of dealing with things that I need to deal with well 
I'm at it again. Substituting art for thought. In other words, I'm trying really hard to make a difficult decision, but she can't really figure it out, so instead, I'm gonna walk around these Joshua trees that you probably can't see. So I just wandered through the brush and out towards this patch of Joshua trees, which caught my eye, and was kind of riding that kick of thinking in high contrast black and white, and especially in the desert during the day, it's really easy to think in high contrast black and white because the light is just so harsh. You know, I really enjoy the desert uh, with as much death and desolation as there is. Uh, there's something really special about it. I think a lot of people have said as much. I don't know, it might be the perfect place to reflect. It might also be the absolute worst place to reflect. Very shortly after taking that image, I noticed a car way off in the distance, a really old car that was just sort of decaying in the desert and thought that was just an absolute classic photo. So I went further to investigate. I ended up spending quite a bit of time around this car taking you know, more snapshots of just the textures and the decay and ended up, after exhausting that, um, taking a step back and, and looking at this car in the scene, in the desert, and walked away with a photo I was pretty happy with. So I probably spent an hour or two shooting around the Joshua trees in that old car and I was feeling a little bit better at this point so I climbed back in the car and headed back out towards Lone Pine. Just outside of Panamint Springs I couldn't help but notice the road cascading away behind me and there's not exactly a lot of traffic in, in that part of the world and so I pulled my car over and kind of looked at the road cascading anyway way behind me, and it felt a bit like a metaphor. I don't know, I, I, I can't quite explain it still why it felt so important in that time, but I got out, grabbed my camera, and in the middle of the day, and in the middle of the road, took a photo. So back in Lone Pine, I wandered around for a while. I happened across a barber shop, and it was a small little place, and the guy was just hanging out in there, and so I thought, okay, I back in society and realizing just how terrible I looked. I knew how terrible I felt, but I finally realized just how bad I looked. And I got a haircut, and I was feeling a little bit better about that. but. Um, still just feeling off and I went to this park that I'd hung out at before and I had some lunch and wrote some more and had myself a bit of a juggle which was a great release in that time but then things got a little bit worse I had kind of a bad afternoon to be honest I really sort of 
lost track of myself and what I was doing, and I, I just didn't know what my next step should be. I was trying to figure out where I was going to go, what I was going to do, but also how I was going to do this. Um, there was sort of two sides of my brain that were competing. The side of me that was just trying to survive. And then there was the other part of me that was trying to be bold and trying to embrace this adventure and, and do the things and see the things and make the art and make a series of videos for a YouTube channel that almost nobody watches. And these two sides are really competing. And I just got down at it again. I have been pushing I've been pushing myself in many ways. I haven't been eating right. I haven't been sleeping nearly enough. Um, and I think some of the food that I eaten had gone bad. And now my stomach just kills. And it's in so much pain. And I've just been sitting here in this parking lot. Just for hours. Just sitting here. My stomach is just grinding sort of pain. It's, it's really uncomfortable. Uh, with that in mind, I've also been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my tomorrow. I'm thinking I might head further east and south and go towards like Zion National Park. I just don't feel like I have the motivation to keep pushing myself. Or the desire, it's just I'm feeling really apathetic about the whole thing. I should be, I should be happy to be doing this. There should be a million things, but things aren't always that simple. Sometimes things suck and you feel like shit. And a lot of times there's nothing you can do about that. <sighs> I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So after all that, I decided to grant myself some leniency and some grace and realize that I, I wasn't done and I was going to push myself further and I was going to see these things and have these experiences and just try to dig really far deep down and find some strength. And if you, which if you've ever been at that point is a really hard thing to do, to find that strength, to, to, to keep going. Um, but a lot of us can find that strength, whether it's within ourselves or from our friends or a stranger. You, you never know when you're really down in the dumps like that where you're going to find help. And I think for a lot of us, those who consider themselves artists or those who don't consider themselves artists but still make a lot of art, I think that's where a lot of strength comes from. Explaining to the world visually how we're feeling. And sometimes it's dark and sinister and sometimes it's abstract and a little bit wishy-washy but we just got to continue on we have to keep pushing and we have to just create and be strong and just move like so many a marathon runner it is a point where it isn't about being super conscientious about what you're doing and how you're doing it it's just one foot and then the other <sighs> What do I say now? 
I guess I'll end the video the way I usually end the videos. The next day, I turn things around. And maybe that's all I need to say. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching. Take care of each other. And I'll see you next time.